Welcome back everyone. You can warm up this winter with delicious comfort food from Cheddar Scratch Kitchen here in Lexington. It's on with Rob Bridges serving up the new beef short rib pot roast. I wish you could smell what we can smell right now. Oh my goodness. This is an incredible spread. It is. It's all of our comfort food that we have. It's comfort mm. food time of year, so we decided we would do something comfort foodish and cooking comfort food at home always takes a while. So yes, it does. We do all the heavy lifting for you. In that do you want to show it? Absolutely. I'll how it works while you're How we make the pot us? roast. And yeah. then, what are I'll, some of your big favorites when it comes to comfort food? When it comes to comfort food, actually, it's probably the new pot roast. It's a yeah. really, really good dish. Yeah, it really is. What made you decide we want to put this on the menu? <laughs> um, you know, I don't know. That's outside my, my realm and scope. They just kind of say, hey, you know, we came up with a pot roast, so you execute You make it, it. happen. So we, yeah, so we make it happen. They send us the recipes and we make it happen. So, Tell us you your know, secrets. a lot of market research and testing and things go into it. So There's just something want, good about pot roast, yeah. too. Pot roast is really, really, outside. really, really, really yes. good January dish for sure because it is a limited time. So yeah. it's all part of the get a lot for not a lot. So you get a big plate of pot roast there. Um, but it's about a four hour process to get it to your plate. So we wow. spend a lot of time on it. So we start here and we start with the raw roast and we put a rub on it. And the rub is only sugar and Montreal seasoning. So it's pretty simple. Sugar. Oh, no. I don't think of that when I make pot roast. I know, I don't either. Yeah, sugar and everything make makes it a little bit well, sweet. Yeah, yes, a little yes. bit sweet. So we cook, what we do is we cook this for 20 minutes with the rub. Okay. Um, then it gets to this stage. So okay. when it comes out after the 20 minutes, we put the vegetables in. Through uh, the magic of television, we've gone to there. <laughs> we yes, through the magic beautiful. of television. <laughs> put mm. mushrooms and beef base on it. And again, through the magic of television, we have a completed <laughs> oh. pot roast. So that two hours sweet. and 45 minutes after this stage. Okay. And then it gets to this. What temperature do you cook that 350. at? 350. Okay. 350 for two hours, for both stages actually. The first 20 minutes mm -hmm. is 350. And then the two hours and 45 minutes there is 350. And it looks so, yeah. Mine doesn't look like that. Mine doesn't I don't understand that. <laughs> we have a lot of industrial equipment that, oh, helps, that's true. that helps us achieve these easier. results. You brought some drinks as well. Tell us I about did. the drinks. I did, I a Presidente Sangria and a Strawberry Lemonade. Okay, and the sangria good. is just a red wine drink, and strawberry lemonade is strawberry lemonade. And those are comforting any time, I any assume. Any yes. yes, yes. Your pot pie We also pie have the Better Than Mom's meatloaf there as well. We've yeah. had that on the menu oh, for a yes. while. Oh, yes, the it's meatloaf really is fantastic. Uh, and then we also have the chicken pot pie, and can't go wrong with the croissants either. Of course, so. the veggies. This is my favorite. The croissant, that's everybody's favorite, it seems like. Yes, you will not find anything better than that. that. That's what, and now everybody gets a croissant. So we, mm -hmm. now, okay. now you start out with a round on us. Nice. So, um, everybody gets to start out with a croissant to munch on before they order. Describe how you plate up the pot roast. That All right, really so from this point good. here, I'm gonna slide over here real quick. Mm -hmm. Go right ahead. We would take a couple of forks and we would shred it to get it to this stage. Okay. So, we start with mashed potatoes. Put yeah, a big, another a, great comfort food. Another homemade mashed <laughs> potatoes original. for sure. You can't really go wrong there. And, and then you just would, shred with the knife and fork. Yeah, so. well, we would, yeah, we would shred. We use two forks there to just pull okay. the beef apart. And then normally this will be a little warmer and fall a little bit okay. easier, but. If we, we took the time to make it look that pretty at home, I bet our kids would like it more. What do you think, Jenna? <laughs> and then we get a little jus. And we make the jus, once we finish this stage here, we separate the vegetables and the drippings. Okay. And then we make the jus with the, with the, it's got the actual drippings from the beef in it. And then we top it off. Mm. Can I give it a some, try? Absolutely. Hi. Let me, I let me garnish it for you. Oh, sorry. Can't go, I with, dig can't go without the green. I'm digging nope. in deep to the mashed potatoes too. This looks great. All right. It's fantastic. It's now my favorite dish. It'll be my favorite dish until I eat it 30 or 40 times. I'm, I'm going to have to put it up. I'll, to move I'll on put to it up there with my favorite croissants. There you go. <laughs> Perfect. My, my eyes on the meatloaf, though. That's hard to beat. Yeah. Hard to beat. Meatloaf is great, too, there. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can find a location online. Just go to Cheddar's.com. Thank you so much for being here. You're welcome. Thanks lunch. for having me. I appreciate it. All right, everybody, get ready to laugh. John Reap is at Comedy <laughs> Off Broadway this weekend if he wakes up. It's on with John Reap next. <laughs>